Gwen and I'm back with more yoga just for you. Today's yoga flow is going to focus on toning and strengthening your core. You don't need any equipment for this workout, so slip into something comfy and let's begin. We'll begin today's practice laying down on our backs. Bring your hands to your belly and send it lots of love and respect. Then we'll close our eyes and take three deep breaths, feeling the belly rise and fall with each breath. Inhale. Exhale. Open your eyes and we'll start to engage that core. Bring your legs to a tabletop position, interlace your fingers and bring them over and behind the head. Take a deep inhale and as you exhale lift your head, neck and shoulders. We'll take three deep breaths here. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands to either side of your legs and lift up a little more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now you can stay here or if you're feeling brave, you can straighten the legs for two more breaths. Don't worry if you start to feel a little shaking, it just means we're working hard. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Oh, release everything back down and give yourself a big hug. From here we'll cross the right leg over the left and allow the legs to drop to the left side of the room, then interlace your fingers bringing them over and behind the head. Take a deep inhale and as you exhale lift your head, neck and shoulders. On an inhale, send it back down and we'll take 10 more yogic sit-ups just like that. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Unravel the legs, squeeze your knees into your chest, give yourself a great big hug, and we'll take the other side. Cross the left leg over the right, and allow your legs to melt towards the right side of the room. Interlace the fingers, bring them behind the head, take a deep inhale and as you exhale lift the head, neck and shoulders. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
unravel the legs. Oh, give yourself a great big hug. Then we'll bring the hands to the backs of the thighs and engaging your core, start to rock up and down the length of the spine. <laughs> Whee! This is so much fun. We'll rock once more and then roll all the way up. <laughs> From here, come to all fours. When you're in all fours, make sure your shoulders are directly above your wrists and your hips are directly above your knees. Then really draw your belly button to your spine. From here, we'll move into an exercise called Burt Dog. On an inhale, send your right arm forward and your left leg back. As you exhale, squeeze them in so elbow and knee are touching. Send them back out and touch them down. Let's do 10 more on that side and remember, Inhale to extend, exhale to squeeze. Inhale to extend, exhale to squeeze. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last time out, oh. and come back to all fours and reset with a big breath. Then we'll repeat that exercise on the other side. This time send your left arm forward and your right leg back. And as you exhale, squeeze them in so elbow and knee are touching. Send them back out and touch them down. Let's take 10 more on that side, moving with our breath. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, come back to all fours and we'll bring the big toes together and sink the hips back for child's pose. This is where we rest and collect our energy. Take three deep breaths here. Let's move on. Come back to all fours. This time, tuck your toes and send the hips high and back. Downward facing dog. You can pedal your feet out by lifting one heel and then the other. Then we'll ground through our hands and feet and stay here for three deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. As you exhale, roll forward 
forward into plank pose. So we're up on the balls of the toes, shoulders directly above wrists, nice strong core. We'll slowly lower down, bring the hands to either side of the chest and lift up Cobra. Then take it all the way back to Downward Facing Dog. From here we'll move into an exercise called Cheetah. On your next inhale, send your right leg up high and as you exhale, pull it forward, bringing your knee towards your nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Three more. Oh, and step that right foot back. Coming back to your downward facing dog. And we'll flow through that vinyasa again. So roll forward into plank pose. Slowly lower down. Lift up cobra. And take it all the way back. Downward facing dog. Let's repeat cheetah on the other side. On, the, on your next inhale, lift your left leg up high, exhale, squeeze it in, knee to nose, Ex inhale, lift the leg up high, exhale, knee to nose, three more. Bring that left foot down and flow through your vinyasa. High plank, lower down, cobra and from here we'll bring the big toes together and sink the hips back for another child's pose. Oh. Take three more deep breaths here and collect your energy for the last little bit. And whenever you're ready, Come to all fours, tuck your toes and press up and back to downward facing dog. Pedal your legs again by lifting one heel and then the other. Oh, then grounding through the hands and feet, slowly shift forward into plank pose. This time we'll stay here. Keep your core tight and your arms strong. On your next exhale, touch the left toes off the mat. Inhale to bring them back. Exhale, touch the right toes off the mat. So let's keep it going, doing a little dance to really strengthen our core. side of the chest for one last cobra pose. Ah, oh, feel that stretch in the belly. You guys are doing great, we're almost done. We'll cool it down now with some nice easy stretches. Come to a seated position with your legs out in front of you. On an inhale, 
Take a nice big morning stretch. And as you exhale, fold forward. Your hands can come to your shins, your ankles, or your feet, depending how flexible you are. Everyone's different. And we'll take three more deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath. And release the arms. Take another nice juicy morning stretch. And then we'll use the full length of an exhale oh, to lay all the way down. Draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a great big hug. From here, we'll take a spinal twist. Drop your knees towards the left side of the room. Send your right arm out and look towards the right. Three more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. <sighs> Roll up. Hug your knees into your chest. And we'll take the other side. Drop your legs to the right side of the room. Extend your left arm and look towards the left. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Roll up. Give yourself a great big hug and then we'll open the legs and grab the inner arches of each foot for happy baby. From here you can rock side to side, straighten one leg and then the other, just find what feels good. Remember to keep your balance. <sighs> then we'll extend both arms and legs for your Shavasana. Close your eyes. Allow your body to relax fully and completely into the mat. And let everything go. <sighs> this is your time to relax and just be with your body and your breath. You can stay here for as long as you like and don't forget to thank yourself for doing something wonderful for your body, your mind and your overall health. <sighs> Feel free to pause the video if you want a bit longer. Remember, this is your time to relax and just be. And whenever you're ready, 
Link your eyes open. Roll over onto your side. And we'll come to a comfortable seated position. Thank you so much for doing yoga with me today. You did amazing. Here's a high five from me. You can repeat this yoga flow anytime at home and don't forget to head over to the Autism First YouTube channel for more yoga videos and lots of other fun things to do at home. Namaste. Thank <laughs> you.